everyone, welcome to your New Hope Kids online experience. We're so excited for you to join us this week. We get to learn about a whole new word this month. This word is called humility. But does anybody know what humility actually means? Macy, do you know what humility means? Oh, oh, I know, I know. My sisters humiliate me all the time. Um, I don't think that's what that means. Miss Sal, do you want to tell Macy what humility actually means? Actually, humility means putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. This month is Easter, and Jesus gave the greatest example of humility. He died on the cross for all of our sins. He came to serve and not be served. Hey, New Hope Kids, before we do anything else, we're going to go over our rules of being good. Now, if you know them, go ahead and say them with me. Starting with rule G. G means to give your attention to the person with the mic. In a few minutes, you guys are going to hear an awesome word, and we want to make sure that your ears and your hearts are open for what you guys are going to hear. The next rule is rule O. O means only have good character. That means that you're on your best behavior and you're being respectful, just like you are in New Hope Kids. The next O means to open your mouth during praise and worship. New Hope Kids, did you know that God is with you wherever you go? That means that even though you're not at church, you're in your living room and God is there too. So you can worship Him there just like you do here. The final rule is rule D. D means don't be a space invader. That means your hands and your feet are to yourselves. You're not popping your neighbor's bubbles. And guess what? If you pick your neighbor's nose, you have to eat it. <laughs> Ew, gross. Well, now that you guys know your rules, go ahead and stand to your feet and let's get ready for worship. Hey.
you guys all month long we're going to talk about the greatest example of humility when Jesus decided to die on the cross for us you see it all started when Jesus was traveling he became very popular people were wanting to see him do miracles they were wanting to experience a healing they were wanting to hear all of his amazing teachings there was still a group of people the religious leaders who were so determined to take Jesus out. They were done. They were done with his teaching and they wanted to see it come to a complete end. He called us pretenders, snakes. You see, Passover was coming. That was a time that they celebrated what God had done long ago when he rescued his people from being slaves in Egypt. That Sunday before the big celebration, Jesus entered the city and everybody was there to celebrate. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. But not everybody was so excited. There was somebody else who was traveling and moving around all the people, plotting to do something awful. It was Jesus' friend, Judas. He was trying to get the attention of all those religious leaders who were having an issue with Jesus to begin with. What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? How about a cool 30 pieces of silver? You see, Jesus knew about what Judas was doing. He knew the plot that he was making. But Jesus decided that he had to go through what was supposed to happen anyway. He chose humility. He chose to do it even when he was afraid. So Jesus decided to gather all of his friends for one last meal together. In a little while, 
you will no longer see me. Then after a little while, you will see me. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Jesus ate dinner with his friends. He knew the next few days were not only going to be hard for him, but they, it was going to be hard for his friends too. So he wanted to make sure he could prepare them for what was going to happen. After they ate their meal, they went on a walk together. This very night, you will all turn away because of me. The disciples were so scared. Like, they had to be looking around at each other, not knowing what to say. They were concerned for their friend. They loved Jesus, except for Judas. He had already left them and had already chosen to just turn Jesus over for 30 pieces of silver. All the others may turn away because of you, but I never will. What I'm about to tell you is true. It will happen tonight. Before the rooster crows, you will say three times that you don't know me. I may have to die with you, but I will never say I don't know you. Me too. Same. When they reached the garden, Jesus asked the disciples to just wait right there. Peter, James, and John. So because he had to go away to pray. They promised that they would stay where they were supposed to stay, and they would pray while Jesus went away to pray. My soul is very sad. I feel close to death. Stay here. Keep watch with me. We're here for you. We got this. Prayers. But guess what happened? They kept falling asleep. Huh, what? Huh? Just, uh, we're just, uh, we're just praying. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray. Then you won't fall into sin when you are tempted. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. We'll stay awake this time. Got you covered. Jesus prayed so hard. He prayed with so much passion that the Bible says he even sweat drops of blood. My father, is it possible for this cup to be taken away? But if I must drink it, may what you want be done. And every time he went to check on the disciples, they fell asleep again. Everybody was so exhausted because they knew what the future was going to hold. Are you still sleeping and resting? Jesus returned again a third time to the sleeping disciples. He knew the time had come. Look, the hour has come. The Son of Man is about to be handed over to sinners. Get up. Let us go. Here comes the one who is handing me over to them. A large crowd of people had followed them and had come to that place where Jesus was. And Judas was with them because he led them all there. Judas, what are you doing? Judas had told the mob of people that he would identify the person that they needed to arrest by kissing him on the cheek. Greetings, teacher. So guess what? Judas went straight to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek. Friend, do what you came to do. The mob surged forward, ready to arrest Jesus. And Peter grabbed his sword. Should we use our swords? Swung it and cut off the ear of the high priest. Oh, stop this. Jesus told Peter, you need to stop because he knew this is how it had to be done. He knew he was going to have to go ahead and be arrested. So he took the ear, put it back on and healed him. Put your sword back in its place. Do you think I can't ask my father for help? He would send an army of more than 70,000 angels right away. But then how would the scriptures come true? They say it must happen in this way. The people arrested Jesus and took him away. Am I leading a band of armed men against you? Do you have to come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I sat in the temple courtyard teaching and you didn't arrest me. But all this has happened so that the words of the prophets would come true. Jesus chose the path of humility so that he could bring life to everyone, even though it cost him everything. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for your example of humility. I thank you that we can become and grow to be more like you by choosing to put others first. I thank you 
that we're learning this whole month about what you went through in that garden. Our minds can't even wrap around that. We can't even get a hold of all the things that went through your mind and how hard that could have been. But we are thankful that you chose that so that each one of us can have a life in you. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for helping us learn to choose others and put them first as well. Show us the way, Lord, and we will follow. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, guys, if you'd like to ask Jesus in your heart today, let's do that together right now. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for forgiving me. Please come into my heart and be in charge of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. And this month's memory verse is Philippians 2, 3. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourself. Through everything, Jesus chose to put others first. Not just others first, but he chose to put us first. And as we see this through Jesus' example, we can choose to put others first. And this takes us right into our bottom line that we can choose to put others first. Humility is the opposite of being selfish. Instead of having an it's about me attitude, it's a having it's about others attitude. That can be really hard sometimes. But this week, I challenge you guys to let your brother pick what you watch on TV or let your sister choose what you have for lunch. Let us know how it goes. <laughs> Hey, New Hope Kids, guess what time it is? That's right, it's game time. <laughs> yep, that's right. This month, our theme is upside down. So all you need is a flat surface, a water bottle, and we're going to play the water bottle flip challenge. I am so excited, and I got to be honest, I'm pretty good at this game. What? To get the perfect flipocity, put your water about to there. Right the flip box. <laughs> well, your goal is to get as many bottle flips as you can in one minute. That's right, 60 seconds. So go ahead and get everybody in your family involved to make it a competition. And are you guys ready to play the water bottle flip challenge? Good luck. you guys got and you guys can let us know by leaving in the comments or tagging us at new hope people on instagram we'll see you next week bye, bye. hey new hope kids i know you're spending a lot of time at home you're doing church at home and you're doing school at home so i want to invite you into my home we did something really fun this week it's called chalk your walk we drew on our driveway and wrote something encouraging for our neighbors. So we would love for you to join us this week because some of you are going on spring break. So get outside, write something encouraging or draw a fun picture and tag us at New Hope People on Instagram and we can share with everybody some of the fun things you're doing. All right, we'll see you next week at five o'clock. Have an amazing week.